Hello, and welcome to Hackolade Studio. In this video session, we show how easy it is for you to create your first data model with Hackolade Studio. You create a new model typically from the welcome screen, or from the menu file, then new data model, or by using the keyboard shortcut control, or command, plus N. You first need to select the target you want to work with. You should choose either a technology-independent polyglot model, where you can do conceptual data modeling and logical data modeling, or choose a physical model for one of the many technologies we support. If you don't see in this screen the target technology that you need to work with, you must first install the latest version of the plugin for that technology. This link lets you access the plugin manager where the plugin can be installed. Do not worry if you fear that you may change your mind at a later time. It is possible to convert a physical model into a polyglot model or derive a physical model from a polyglot model. There are two basic use cases. In the first use case, you start from a blank page, build your model from scratch, complete with entities, attributes, and foreign key relationships. Then you can forward engineer the resulting schema or script to a file or to a database instance. Or, in a second use case, you build your model by connecting to an instance, reverse engineer it to fetch the schema, and produce an entity relationship diagram that you can then enrich with description, comments, constraints, and other metadata that might be useful for your governance and data community. Note that, for schemaless NoSQL databases, the software is able to first sample a large number of documents, then infer the schema from the compiled sample. The same process can be used for graph databases as well. Based on these two use cases, you can perform all kinds of other combinations. So let's start with the creation of a model from scratch. You can very quickly create a new model. For example, for Oracle Database version 23 AI, create a new user schema with one table and a few columns, then add another table. Create a foreign key relationship. Then generate the corresponding DDL. And forward engineer it to a database instance. You will also want to save the data model file in a standard JSON format. Then commit and push it to a Git repository. Of course, in real life, you will want to first edit the name of the table. And the name of columns. Then add comments. Move relationship lines around. Add more columns. Change the data type. Select multiple columns for a composite primary key. Add constraints. Add indexes. Align the tables. Add an annotation. If the technology allows for JSON or generally for complex data types, then you can add hierarchical structures with objects and arrays or polymorphism.
All these changes are very easy to perform, and they result in the automatic adjustment of the different artifacts that Hackalade Studio can easily generate, the DDL of course, but also the corresponding JSON schema. Export an Excel file for bulk changes or integration with other systems. Create an API definition in Swagger or Open API specification. Documentation in HTML, Markdown, or PDF. Images in PNG or SVG format. And even publish to a Calibra data dictionary. It is also possible to create a new data model, then reverse engineer from a database instance. Not only that, but you may also infer the schema from JSON files, import one or more JSON schema files. Import DDLs from a variety of SQL sources, which amounts to a conversion capability between all kinds of targets. Import from XSD format, import from other data modeling tools, and also import from an Excel template, or synchronized with Calibra. We conclude here this video session. In the next video, we will showcase some of the more advanced features of the application. Please consult hacklade.com for additional information. Thank you for your attention.